Hello and welcome to this video where I will be showcasing how you can best use the wireframe post-process shaders that comes with Elias Wig wireframe. To learn more about the Elias Wig wireframe, check out the links in the video description. The materials M underscore wireframe and M underscore wireframe underscore classic are using a kernel and convolution method to grab the edges, which also causes the edges of the viewport to be picked up at times. If you're experiencing ghosting when you're using the wireframe post-process effects, you can greatly reduce it through a variety of means. In this video, I will showcase three different methods for how you can handle these wireframe issues. In the viewport, there's an ability to increase the screen percentage. What this will do is to reduce the ghosting that may appear when you move the camera. Another way to reduce ghosting is if you select the post-process volume in your scene and reduce the motion blur amount. This will make a big difference if you notice a lot of screen blur on the edges of your screen. Finally, with the introduction of Unreal Engine 5.0, a new anti-aliasing method called TSR or Temporal Super Resolution was introduced. This new anti-aliasing method causes ghosting to appear more frequently in the wireframe post-process shaders. By changing the blendable location on the wireframe post-process material to after tone mapping, and then setting the anti-aliasing method to none or FXAA, you will get a really good result. I hope this video was helpful and that you found a better understanding for the rendering limitations and best practices when using wireframe. Thank you for watching and have a good day.